What's up, guys? I'm going to crack open some of my loose Hot Wheels I picked up today. As well as a couple, um, a couple that are not loose. Starting out with this Ferrari. I don't think I have this one in my collection. It was 99 cents, so I grabbed it. It is loose mint, which is good. I'll have to double check. But I don't think I have this red one with the gold wheels. So I got that one. Everybody loves the Oscar Mayer, which I have had in my collection. But currently don't. Uh, this one, well, it looks not great, but it's not terrible. A couple flea bites there. But it's not too bad shape. So I got that one. If I can fix this lighting. All right. Uh, let's see. I had a little. I think this is the packing pacer. Uh, yeah, packing pacer. I'm not sure what release this is. I think it's like a re-release of the hot ones or the ultra hots. It's really cool though. It's pretty clean. There's a couple smudges on the tampo there on top, but no chips. Uh, it's like a pearl white with the uh, tampos on top, the 427. It's a chrome interior with yellow windows, and it has the gold Ultra Hots metal base. So I thought that was a pretty cool little casting. I picked that one up. And then this one here I think there are a lot of people that like this casting I like this casting I was into this casting when I first started collecting a couple years ago the Diora 2 I was I had quite a few of these at one point in time and then I just kind of stopped because I'm not that into I'm just not that into it now but this is a really cool variation of the car chrome interior i'm not sure what the highway 35 is but the graphics are really cool on this car and i like the wheels too same wheels from the uh speed machine style or the ferrari racer style and then you've got your surfboards there on top the rear mounted massive engine plastic base they're not rubber tires but they're still pretty cool and this one has some detail uh, the original Diora the first one was based off of a Dodge concept so it's a fantasy car but there is some factual stuff about it and then from the same series is this Chevy truck I don't know anything about the, this uh highway 35 or the wave rippers it's something that i haven't seen there's a rubber band still attached to this that i just pulled off so i'm assuming maybe this was a like a hundred percent set so this is the switchback maybe it's not a chevy truck but um i don't know if it's part of like a hundred percent set or some adult collectible release but that one's pretty cool too same wheels i think the surfboards are a little different well uh, here's more rubber band on this side kind of show you what i was talking about that kind of makes me think it was possibly a hundred percent release so there are those and the last loose one Chevelle or uh, Nova nope it's a 70 Chevelle SS and this thing is badass I'm really glad I bought this because this one I think this one is a hundred percent release it's metal base it's a Thailand base you have real riders 
if it's not 100%, it is definitely some kind of adult collectible. There's too much detail in this car to be from like the Garage series or something like that. You have brake lights. All the trim is all painted up. The windows, door handles, the fenders. You got the rally stripe. You even have hood pins. I don't think you get that kind of detail from the Garage series. And then the, the headlights are painted and the indicators are painted on the bumper which is part of the base. So a lot of good detail in that Chevelle. I'll have to do a little looking to see what series that came from. All right, so I have four cars on card that I wanted to crack open. Uh, this is the only Matchbox. I like Matchbox cars. Not the fantasy cars, not really the construction stuff, although I do pick those up sometimes I like the cars um, and mostly the cars that aren't that are realistic looking that don't have crazy graphics on them this thing is awesome I like the black wheels I like the uh, little taxi banner there on the door you have your fare or your pricing menu here on the back Painted indicator there on the front fender. No rear detail. No front detail. Well, you have your sculpted detail, but no painted detail. But you do have the light on top with the little tampo there that says taxi. I don't know why this won't focus. There's plenty of light. But So that's pretty cool. Little matchbox. And then the rest of these are Hot Wheels. Starting with a Hot Wheels Classics Series 2 1955 Chevy. I like these classics because they all came with Spectre Flame. And they were metal on metal. Only thing that would have made them better <clears throat> is real riders. But even with that said, with them not having real riders, the tires are still pretty cool here. You have uh, white walls. Some of them have white lettering. But the Spectre Flame paint is killer. I love that. So here we have the 55. It does have painted headlights and brake lights. So that's pretty cool. Wasn't really expecting that. So there you, there you go. 55 Chevrolet. Thailand base. Metal base. And then the other... Uh, Chevy that we got here is from Larry's Garage and it looks to be like a holiday it does have the tre the flame up here I think that these might be the more rare ones to find I think they were with the classics like this uh, deco delivery back here had one of those and uh, you don't see a whole bunch of those it's from 2009 so I kind of dig the garage cars, a lot of them, not all of them, but a decent amount, particularly the Ferraris. Got a collection of the Ferraris. These uh, garage cars are nice, though, because they're metal on metal, and they do have real rider tires. And these are one of my favorite real rider tires that have ever come out from Hot Wheels. These tires look really good. They're great uh, tires for customs. So that's a really good choice of wheel. Um, the headlights, as you can see, are not painted. Neither are the indicators in the bumper. Door handle's not tampoed, or it is tampoed. It's just not showing on top. But this is a really cool color too, that frost green. Uh, no brake light detail, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but you do get metal on metal with real riders, so that kind of makes up for it. You can see the difference in the, the colors on the 55 and the 56, but those are both really cool little cars. So, so 
uh, the last one that I want to open, before I open it, I want to talk a little bit real quick about this. This is from 2013, I believe, the uh, Kroger ha uh, Halloween set. It's a five-car set. 2013 was the last year that they brought out the Ecto. I was really hoping they would do it again this year, and they didn't. Um, but they do bring out that set every year. It's usually pretty lame, unless they do bring out an Ecto. But I like the uh, the livery on this with the orange, the Halloween look. You've got the flaming pumpkin on the hood. You got some pretty cool flameage uh, along the sides, and then you have back here the Halloween Hot Wheels Halloween series logo. You got Slimer on the back, so it's a pretty cool. Uh, it's a cool casting, the Ecto-1. I have the main line. I have all the retros except the first one. And I have this. And I was able to pick up this one, which is from 2012. So that's why I wanted to talk about the other one, is because I'm going to crack this one open. Another cool car that came out in 2012 in the Halloween set was the Batmobile, the TV series Batmobile. And it came out in purple. That one hasn't come out in the Halloween set since then uh, but those two cars it would be it would be awesome if they would bring these out every year in every halloween set with a different design to it but you can see this is 2012 the card is in really good shape there's a little bit of damage here but nothing major other than that it's in really good shape but uh, i don't collect cardboard so we're going to pull the casting out and take a look at it and compare it to the 2013 release. This black one seems to be, from my experience, it seems to be a lot harder to find than the orange one. The orange one you can find usually 10 to $15. This one is usually 20 to 25 I think. Um, I like this one a lot better because black is, I don't, I don't know if it's the color or the graphics. The Slimer is just awesome. And you have like slime flames instead of the other uh, flames on the other one. But you have your Hot Wheels Halloween logo there with the pumpkin. It's a lighter gray top on this one. You still, they both have the green interior, which gives you the green emergency lights on top. This one has a chrome base. The other one has a gold base. They both have the same gold wheels. So, which, uh, which hood do you like better? The, the Flaming Pumpkin is pretty sweet, but that Slimer is dope. You can see this is a darker gray than this one, but uh, they both are really, really cool cars to have in the collection. To go with the main line and the Retro, uh, the Ecto-2, or the 1A retro that I've got so those are pretty cool I thought so we got those got a couple metal on metal Chevy's pack and pacer a nice real rider Chevelle a couple of interesting uh, surfing cars yeah not a bad little hot wheel haul and these were other than that black ecto these were Pretty cheap today to pick up.